Alrighty, you are still hanging out with us on uh, Thursday Vibes right now on Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y in the morning and uh, the segment is Spot on Tech and you can find us on socials. That's on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter is at Y254. Mine is at Brian Circle 101. On our Spot Tech segment today, we are talking about the world of integrating technology and uh, photography. And I believe videography as well. And uh, hanging out with us in studio today is Elkana Shivonji. Shivonji, uh, the CEO of uh, Proscrafts app. It's an app that actually, I love the fact that, you know, he calls it an Uber for photographers. So he's here with us in the studio to actually explain to us and how did he actually come up with that app? What, what exactly is the app all about and much more. First of all, good morning. Good and morning. How are you? Coming through. I'm good. Thank, thank you, you so much. Pleasure. Uh, introduce yourself and tell us what you do, what you're all about. Uh, so my name is Elkana Shivonje. All right. I am a software developer. All right. I, am, uh, I have also been a photographer for the longest time, the past uh, over six years now. Yeah. Yes. So that's basically who I am. Right. Yeah. And uh, you are the creator. Are you the developer or the creator? Should you say you're the creator for Proscraft app? Yes, that, that would be a fitting name. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, what is this Proscraft app? Uh, what is it all about? And uh, what exactly does it do in terms of photography as well? And I love the fact that it's an app, mm -hmm. but it's now integrated with photography and videography as well. Yeah. So, um, we are calling it the Uber for photographers. Okay. Yeah. An interesting name. Yes. Right. So exact uh, the the way the same way you're able to order for a taxi. Right. Is the same way now you can order or hire a photographer. So um, we came up with the app. Like I mentioned, my background is in. Uh, I've been for, I've been a photographer for the longest time. Yeah. So during this time, I experienced some challenges. And even you yourself, I'm, I'm sure, and anyone who's watching, anytime you want to hire a photographer or a videographer, there's usually a very long back and forth process that you go through before you get all the details that you want. So first of all, you'll have to DM someone right. or send them a WhatsApp message, then wait for feedback. Then after that, the next question will be, what are your prizes? You wait for feedback then the next process will be where can I view your portfolio? Wait for feedback. So it takes a very long time and a lot of back and forth for you to actually get all the details that you want. Right. Now, what if you could get all these details in one place and take that entire process, which would actually take you like a day to finish, and do it in three minutes? Right. That's what Proscraft is. So it enables you to take this entire complicated process, you having to go and confirm something else which is quite important to clients is when you're booking someone, especially on social media, you really don't know if this is someone you can trust. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how do we enable clients to have the best talent and people they can actually trust? Right. So one of our keywords in Proscraft is pre-vetted. Pre-vetted, yeah. Yes. So I, I saw it and I was really wondering, like, yes. what is it all about, pre-vetted um, talent? Yes. Uh -huh. So pre-vetted basically means um, all the photographers and videographers on our platform, we have done a process. What you would necessarily need to do, we have done it for you. We check their portfolio for you. We confirm their professionals. We confirm the equipment they use. We interview them. So anyone who you hire through the Proscrafts app, you are sure that they are reliable and they will deliver good work. Wow, excellent. Yes. And uh, you're calling it Uber for photographers. Does yes. it also include videographers as well? Because you know, somebody would say, ah, this is just for photographers. But you know, like you mentioned, photography also includes videography as well. Yes. And I love the fact that you know, it's also integrating IT in yes. itself. Yes. So does, is it an all-inclusive app made specifically for photographers? Yes, so um, it's an all-inclusive so for now, it's, a, it's an app for hiring photographers and videographers. Okay. And you can also uh, order prints. Like if you want a picture printed, a wall mount, or that kind of thing. Um, but eventually, the, the big plan is for it to, to integrate all creatives. So from editors to 
uh, animators, to makeup artists, to different creative fields. Because our goal really is to be able to give more opportunities to creatives and also enable them to manage their business in a more effective and easy way. Right. Yes. And, uh, 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 and I love the fact that you're talking about effective, effectiveness and management. So what exactly was your vision when you decide that, you know, we need a community of, you know, photographers who are at a certain specific place so that when I want to access one, I just have to log into the app. And uh, first of all, is the app even available for anyone who is watching maybe to download it so that they can access, you know, their favorite photographer as well? Yes. So uh, if you're on Android, you can download the app on, um, on Play Store. If you're on right. iOS, you can use it on our website, which is www.proscrafts.com. So you can decide if you want to book on the web or you want to download the app, uh, whichever you see fit. So when you go to the website, you'll just see a button, book now. And then when you click on that, it just takes you to the app and then you can book, you can book a photographer. Uh, back to your question of uh, why uh, the process. Uh, yeah, of why the, the vision you have why, why to the like vision. make that you yes. know, app. So um, I have faced, like personally, yeah, being a photographer for a while, some of the challenges that I faced is, for example, there is no single place that a creative in general can manage their entire business in one place. Right. So you'd find you have to use WhatsApp to communicate with clients. Then you have to go look for another technology to manage the business. <clears throat> then you have to go look for another technology to deliver work to clients. You have to go look for another technology to try and check out which site is good for, for doing your shoot if you want an outdoor shoot. So there are a lot of places. It's, a, it's, a, it's a quite a complicated process before you actually do a shoot. Right. You have to check up through a couple of, a couple of things. Right. So what we are trying to do in the long run is consolidate all these things in one place. Now here I'm speaking for the photographer and the videographer and the creatives who will come later on into the app. Right. So you will be able to manage everything in one place. In one place, yeah. You'll be able to communicate with all your clients in one place. You'll be right. able to deliver proof of work in one place. Right. Your clients will be able to download your work all in one place. So we're trying right. to make it easy for you to manage your business. Right. And the other thing also is payments. Uh -huh. So um, in this industry, it's, 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 a, it's a challenge. And this is a challenge which is actually on both sides on right. clients and uh, photographers. Right. So some clients will not pay on time and some creatives, you'll pay them on time, but they won't deliver on time. Right. Okay. So proscripts will come in between so that you as the client, when you're booking for a job, you make a payment. Right. So you make a payment first. So, yeah. So it's not like currently, Uber, right, where you pay after the delivery of service, the destination yeah. ETC. So yeah. currently, uh, we have not integrated the payment part, but okay. what we will do later on, because there are services that you, especially in the creative industry, when you want right. to book someone's time, you have to make a deposit. Yeah, so that someone can close in their, their schedule to book right. you in. Uh -huh. So you as the client will be making the payment. It's Once you pay make the first payment, and then you book the service, so book as you pay. You book as you pay, yeah. Right. But currently, you don't have to pay. Currently, you can just book and you deal with the photographer directly. Uh -huh. But later on, the other thing we will try to solve is, once you pay, right. the money will be held by proscripts. So we will only release the money to the other side, to the photographer, once the job has been delivered. Once the and, service is delivered. Yes, and in case there's any problem in between, then we come in to solve that problem. We, we, we actually help to ensure that you can trust right. the, the service so that you, 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 have, you don't have to worry about all these things in the back end. Wow, fantastic. I love that you know you're speaking of trust. And uh, on, that, on that also, how do you identify this community of uh, photographers and uh, videographers yeah. who will actually, you know, the selection criteria, how do you like put them at a community? Do you like share the link to the app for them to actually, you know, log into the app or log into the website and get to understand about ProScraft and yeah. everything? And if, if yes, uh, what are some of the terms and conditions of even, you know, being a part of ProScraft and uh, yeah. whatnot that it entails? to actually be a part of that community as well. Yeah, so um, as a photographer, to be part of ProScrafts, because one of the most important things that we are trying to solve for the clients is the trust part. Right. Yeah. So we, you first apply. So you go to our website, www.proscrafts.com. 
Okay. At the top, there is a button for join as a photographer or videographer. When you click on that now, it takes you to the landing page of the photographers. Right. Uh, where you can uh, view some of our terms and conditions, which are basically just simple things. So the most important is, of course, you have to be a professional and you have to be using professional equipment. Right. Yes, because... Um, now, this, these is are there things, like maybe uh, yeah. a package where, for example, this yes. is before you, you are vetted, because yes, yes. you also spoke of pre-vetted, yes. before you are vetted to actually be a part of pros and crafts, yeah. maybe is there a package that you need to bring on the table, for example, you're speaking of cameras, mm -hmm. you need to have some certain type of lenses, tripod, etc. No. Uh, so, um, what we do is from your portfolio, me as a photographer, being a photographer, it's very easy for me to tell from your portfolio, if let's say you're a photographer and you present me with a portfolio right now, okay. I can very quickly and very easily determine if you use professional equipment or not, just right. from how the pictures look. Right. So for me to actually go through someone's portfolio and check all these things and ask uh, for, for all of us to, to check all these things, it's quite easy. So you don't really necessarily have to bring your camera for us to see or your equipment for us to see, but from your portfolio, I can actually tell this is someone who uh, has, has done this for long enough and they yeah. know what they're doing. He's a from, professional yes, in, the, exactly. in the oven as well. Yes. Uh, is there maybe, is there maybe a, a limitation or not maybe just a limitation? You've mentioned uh, uh, you, you literally just uh, t take a look at the portfolio and you're able to judge if this photographer yeah. is professional as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe for somebody who wants to join and uh, maybe they're thinking, oh, maybe if I join that app, they'll not pay me on time or if I join it, they're going to deduct me and uh, the payment I'll get is not like the one I'll get directly from the client. Is there like an advantage of being par a part of that, you know, person craft community? Yeah. So, yes, there is an advantage. One of them being, like I mentioned, um, we are trying to help you manage your business more effectively. So instead of having to deal with different technologies to manage clients, now you'll be able to do it and manage your bookings in one place. The other being, um, you'll also be discovered by new clients who come to the app to look for photographers, which really doesn't hurt. Because as photographers and as creatives, we're always looking out for the next job, right? right. So you, when you join the platform, you can be discovered with new clients who are not, basic, who are not necessarily in your client base. Right. These are new people who are looking for... So clients for, are still also in the app? I'm a no, clients clients will now, There's yes. a button for clients, I'm a, it's an app that you share with clients and then they're able to choose photographers or photographers yeah. choose clients in the app? So now uh, the app is two-sided. Oh, So okay. there is the back end, which is now for the photographers. Now me as a photographer, when I go, right. I have my own portal. I can, oh, there's your own portal. Yeah, it's, it's login, you have, with yes. details and everything. Yes, you have a profile like, let me yeah. give an example of Instagram. So right, you have yeah. your own profile, like Instagram, right? Oh, wow. Where, okay. where you upload your portfolio, right. you upload your packages, everything. Your description everything. and what you offer. All that, yeah? Uh -huh. Then now the client's app is from the other side. So when the client comes into the app, they see your portfolio and your prices and your packages like you would go to someone's profile, profile yeah. and check out what they Read do. Read their bio, everything. Read their bio, everything. Right. So, yeah, so because the other thing we're trying to, to, to do is you as the client, as the photographer, we, we are we're asking you to put everything in one place. So me as the client, the, po the moment I am on your profile, I can see all the packages that you offer. So let's say, for example, you shoot weddings. Right. I can see all your wedding prices. So I can see your first package is, let's say, 100,000. The second one is maybe 200,000. The other one is. So I select the exact package I want. I just add it to cut and I check out. So I don't have to reach out to you to uh, give me any more details because everything is in one place. But of course, in case there is any communication or any queries you have about all these things, definitely you can, you can contact the, the person and, 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 and get all these details. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the process extremely easy and seamless so that we take a process that you actually do in best case scenario two hours and bring it down to less than three minutes. Oh, so how quick and how fast can uh, a client access a photographer as well if they are already, you know, logged in? You said for a client or anybody who is watching, if they want yeah. to actually get into that app, what should they do? Yeah. So you just go to www.proscrafts.com. Uh -huh. uh, on the website, you'll just see a button book now. Okay. Uh, so if you're on iOS uh, or Android, 
you can, when you click on the book now, you'll be able to use the app on the web to book photographers from there. But if you're on Android and you want to download the app as well, you can find it on, an, on Play Store. And even on the website, there's a button there for download for Android. You can just click it and, and you'll be able to download the app. All right. How yeah. fast is it? For example, somebody's in Akuru. Yes. But let's, let's come back to Nairobi because yes. we're in Kanairo. Yes. Somebody wants a photographer within this region. Yes. Right now, how fast and efficient is it for them to get? Like, how long will it take them to find a photographer? I would say less than three minutes. Because I usually, uh, what I've learned uh, being a creative for a while is most people, by the time they are deciding uh, to look for a photographer, they know what they want. They okay. know I want to, for example, I want to do a birthday shoot, right. right? Or I am looking for a wedding photographer. So on the app, we made that very specific so that you don't come to the app. For example, let's say on social media. If you go on social media, it's actually very difficult for you and extremely time consuming for you to get a specific photographer you want. Because there's literally no way you can just say, show me only wedding photographers or I'm only right. looking for birthday photographers. So and we've made that, ex sense. exactly. So we've made that extremely, mm -hmm. we've, we've curated that extremely carefully in the app. So you actually select the exact thing you want. So let's say you want to book a photographer for a wedding yeah. or an event or a videographer uh, for, for that matter. So you just select, for example, you select photography. Then on the next page, you select, I want a photographer for wedding and in Nairobi. Right. And immediately you see everyone who right. does, offers that service and is in Nairobi. So now it's your preference, depending on if you like this guy's portfolio, if you like this guy's prizes, now it's you to choose. But the process is extremely fast. Right. Yes. Uh, are there charges maybe that, uh, you know, a professional photographer wants to be, you know, in the app to benefit that, you know, before you enroll, this is what you, apart from the portfolio you mentioned, is there maybe like charges, some it's an open and free app, you just mm -hmm. join and then we'll, de we'll deduct from the pay you will get after you get the service or you get a client. Okay, so um, we are not charging the photographers or videographers to join the app. Uh, we're not charging you anything. It's, it's absolutely free to join. Okay. Um, but we do take a percentage from uh, when you get jobs on the app, which is basically how every app operates out here. Right. Most like, it's similar to Uber, Bolt, and the rest, including Taxify? Yeah, if, if we compare it to the taxi world, then yes. But the only difference is we don't take crazy percentages like 25 or 30 percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, wow. we, we, we take reasonable because I have been a photographer myself. I have been right. a creative for a very long so time. So you know the pain of, so like, I know the pain of the hustle of, and the bustle. Yes, I know the pain of the hustle. Right. And it wouldn't make sense for me to tell someone to give me 10 percent when mm -hmm. they get a job worth 100,000. Right. Or for tell, for, to tell them to give me uh, 10 percent when they get a job worth uh, uh, 10,000. But right. if I tell them to give me 4% or 5% from, a, uh, from getting a 10,000 job on the app, then I think it's actually reasonable because that, that's around 400, 500 shillings. Right. Yes. Do you think uh, by coming up with this app, you are actually meeting a very specific uh, niche, especially in the photography and videography world? And I love the fact that, you know, in, in this day and age, it's all about the photos, the graphics, you know, they should be colorful, bold, and attractive. Do you feel like even, uh, even in the government as well, you are actually satisfying a niche that for uh, a very long time, there's been nobody who has been actually trying to actually cover and, you know, fill in that gap. Do you feel like you're reaching out to that spot exactly? Yeah, so uh, like you mentioned, we are very niche and uh, we are starting with photographers and videographers, but our target is creatives specifically. And when I'm talking about creatives in this sense, I'm talking about photographers, videographers, animators. Um, you mentioned TikTokers, YouTubers as well. So uh, even people on YouTube? Not necessarily. Uh -huh. So here we are looking, let me call them creators, but right. in, in the sense of um, photographers, videographers, makeup artists, like the on-demand services. Right. You see, uh -huh. for example, you'd want a makeup artist for a wedding. You'd want a photographer for a wedding. You'd want an animator once, uh, me, as a, me as a photographer, I usually want editors. Right. Um, Even graphic designers? Exactly. So, okay. in the long run, we will try to incorporate all these people. Because, like, uh, again, uh, my, our, mine and our, our, our entire goal is to give more opportunities to 
to, to creatives. So we want to enable you to book service, you, to, clients to book your services much faster and easier. And we want to enable you as a photographer and videographer to manage your business more effectively. So everything in one place, from delivery of work, to communication with clients, to payments, everything happens in one place. This actually enables you to be more productive. So you right. don't have to worry. You focus on what you love best, which is right. shooting, right. as we take care of everything else in the back end. Right. So um, the niche part, yes, we are, we are, we are, we are very niche. And like, like we've seen, the creative industry, the photography, videography, makeup artists, that industry is growing very rapidly. Right. Uh -huh. And as, as it's growing, it's creating this gap here right. where um, getting these services and discovering professional talent has mm -hmm. actually become more time consuming. Right. So what we are trying to do is, as the industry grows, we are trying to make it easy for you as the client to now discover professional talent much, much easier. Because I'm very sure, let's say for example you have a wedding. Right. You wouldn't want to hire someone to shoot your wedding and then later on they deliver photos which you did not expect. Right. You want someone, because this is a moment, right? It will never happen right. again. Mm -hmm. You want someone professional, you want someone who's going to do the best job. Right. So we are coming in to enable you to discover these people extremely easy. That's why pre-vetted is actually in our slogan. So right. all the yeah. service providers on our platform are pre-vetted. Pre so right. you don't have to worry about if you book anyone, anyone. on the platform. We can you assure are you of excellence. Yes, you are sure of excellence when you book anyone on the platform because we've done everything for you in the back end. So you don't have to worry about are they professionals? Will they arrive on time? Right, right. Will they do a good job? We've done right. all that for you in the back end. So for you, you just book anyone and you're sorted. Right. Yeah. How long has been the how, how long has been the app in place? Yeah, so the app uh, now has been live for three months. Three months now. So yes. business like you launched it just mid this year. Yes. Right. Yeah. Previously, you, you mentioned you are a photographer as well. Yeah. Maybe uh, would you say the challenges that, that you faced before, you know, you thought of that, you know, uh, niche or that gap, uh, yeah. the one that drove you to actually come up with this app? Mm -hmm. Ama, you just wanted to unite photographers and videographers to give them a space where they can feel like it's home and they can easily access services or clients as well. Yeah. So I have a background in software, software engineering. Right. And uh, I was also a photographer. So yes, I, um, I wanted to solve some of the challenges I was facing personally. Yeah? And then, by God's grace, everything was... I, I, I knew the software engineering part right. and I knew the photography part. So it was, it was extremely, I would say not as challenging for me to discover the main pain points. To know, okay, as a photographer, I face this, I face this, I face this, and the people I know and my friends face these similar problems. So how can I try to solve these problems for myself, for them, and also for some of the clients that I have actually, uh, have actually dealt with and have mentioned to me? Because when, when you deal with clients, they actually mention to you frustrations that they have actually yeah. gone through right. with either other people or when they were trying to get your services. So over time, I've had almost the similar types of frustrations. And right. I was like, you know, these are actually very simple things to solve just through technology. Right. So now what we are trying to do is we are trying to take technology and uh, infuse it with the photography part. And now we are trying to bring them together and solve these problems and make it extremely easy for you right. to discover uh, privated professional photographers. Right. Yeah. And speaking of that, the management of this app, uh, you, you, in your description, you are the CEO and founder. Yeah. Is it a self, uh, is it, uh, would you say it's a self-employment for you, Ama? You had a team of guys that, you know, you put your minds together, your ideas together, and then you decided to come up with this masterpiece. And if yes, is it like, uh, do you have like an office where you've hired people that you're working with, Ama? It's a solo project like me and God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so there is... Uh we have an office, and uh, so currently, ah, oh, I think I can take this opportunity. Anyone who's watching and uh, they love the app and they feel like they'd want to be an investor, definitely. Uh, go to our website, job. yeah, uh -huh. www.proscrafts.com. Our email is at the bottom. You can reach out, we can talk. So we are at that stage of, because, you know, with technology uh, apps, and especially with startups, 
um, we, we, we're always looking for, for investors to grow our, our idea and our dream. And like I mentioned, it's only been live for three months. So we are, we are, we are new on the block. We're the new kids on the block. Right. And, uh, are there competitors? Currently that in this... Identified uh, that have maybe yeah. such a similar thing because you know yeah. technology keeps on evolving yes and there's always there's always like a new thing on the market yes. a new trend yes. a new design a new yeah. discovery etc yes. are there like your competitors you say this one i'm yeah. following them closely maybe in africa yeah. as well not just kenya or even abroad yeah. overseas as well yeah 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 there, there, there are a couple of competitors in in the market um in kenya per se there's there's really no one who is as niche as what we are trying to do but there are e-commerce sites where you can book different services. So you can, if you want to order food or you want to buy an outfit or you want to order a service, there are e-commerce sites where you can get everything in one place. But you see, if you want to book a photographer or a creative from there, then it comes back to the same problem of it still is going to take you a lot of time to try and discover this person. Right. See? So us, the reason why we are very niche is we are trying to take all these problems that you face and solve them in one way. In one way so right. we, we really don't want to, to tell you to come to our app when you're looking to buy an outfit. No, no, no. We don't want you to come to our app when you want to order food. No, we want you to come to our app specifically when you want to hire a professional, professional photographer, 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 a professional videographer, or uh -huh. the other creative services. So when right. you come to our app, you are sure that for the reason that we are niche, for the fact that we are niche, you'll be able to get the services you want extremely quickly because there's no cluster of too many different things that you have to go through to find what you're looking for. It's right there on your face. So right. you go to the app, if it's photography you want, photography. Real time. Yes, real time. And let's backtrack, backtrack a little bit. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you are able to actually just give us a small description of how uh, you created that app uh, yes. from scratch. Like, uh, yes. how did you actually create it? Uh, and 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 if, for example, if maybe somebody is watching at home and yes. they want to also come up with such a masterpiece, yep. where where do they start? How do they go about it to you know bring all that into manifestation? So, um, tech tech is quite wide. So one of the things is before you actually discover what you're comfortable with, you'll find yourself everywhere. Right. You'll try to build uh, natively, that's with Android or iOS. You'll try to use frameworks and different frameworks like, um, uh, I think we were talking about React Native here because of your yeah. profile on, on WhatsApp. Right, right, yeah? Right, right. Uh -huh. yeah, so you'll use very many different platforms to try and, uh, to try and build something. Right. But the moment you uh, actually decide on the exact thing you want, to, you want to build, in the tech community, you'll definitely find the framework which works best for you. Right. So, for example, if you want to build um, something for Android and iOS together using one code base, then you'd necessarily either go for React Native or React Native is from Facebook. Then there's another one called Flutter, which is now from Google. Right. So if you want to build uh, cross-platform apps, with the same code base, then most of the time, you'll actually end up either on React Native or Flutter. Right. If you want to build uh, websites on the other end, then you'd find yourself learning Python, then going and using Django or- Somebody Google. mentioned Laravel and Java. Exactly, you go to <laughs> JavaScript and you right. want to use, but there'll always be a framework that you will use these technologies on top of, because then now it makes it extremely easy for you right. to now build, because it takes away a lot of a lot of chaff from from whatever it is you're trying to build and makes it exactly. easy so you just write whatever it is you want to write and you deploy it extremely fast yes i'm told you're out of time but i just want you to quickly a quick mention of maybe some of the core values of your app uh, if somebody wants to access it and use it where can they find it and uh, why is it important to even use pros and craft just quickly yes so um the reason why you should use pros craft is one all our service providers are pre-vetted so you are very sure of trust. Right. The second is um, the process is seamless and fast. So a process which would necessarily take you, best case scenario, around two hours, we bring it down to three minutes. So um, the other is the service providers that we have are extremely professional. So we have actually gone behind the scenes to check out everything 
for you so that you as the client don't have to worry about will the person I'm booking be a professional, will the person I'm booking deliver work on time, deliver good work. Yeah, so our, our, our main... Uh, our core, main yeah. core, our, our core is offering you pre-vetted professional right. photographers and videographers. If right. you want to book, you can go to www.proscrafts.com and from there you'll see all the details. Right. Yes. Social media, can they find it on yes. you personally uh, as well? Yes, as social media is uh, proscrafts.io. Uh, that's on Instagram. Um, on LinkedIn, the same. On uh, Twitter, the same. So on all social media platforms, it's the same. Your number is there. Uh, my on, number. Amma. Oh, you Sorry? want to give it out? Sure, 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 sure. Uh, oh, my number. Yes. Uh, our contact is uh, plus two five four seven nine seven four nine three seven two nine. Right. Yes. Something popping up in my mind. Pros and crafts. Is does it have a meaning? Yes, it does. Uh huh. Professional creatives. Professional creatives. Yes. Right, I love the fact that you know you summarized it. Yeah. And it's good I remembered. <laughs> Thank you. Right, we have been hanging out with uh, Elkana Shivonje. She, he, where? He is the CEO and founder of Pros and Crafts app that actually enables you to access your favorite professional photographers for those excellent videography and photography services at the comfort of your own time and your own finances. And I love the fact that it's a community of, you know, professional photographers who will actually deliver excellent work to you right now on Smart on Tech is the segment on Y254 channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on behalf of Kalami Val and everybody else behind uh, this show today. We say thank you so much. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter is at Y254 channel. Mines is at Brian Soccer 101. Have an amazing Thursday as well.